AI transfers used to be one of the worst parts of career mode. If you throw it back to FIFA 16, it wouldn't be surprising to see Manchester United have nine world-class strikers, but playing a formation that only had room for a single attacker. It was really dumb to see, and it borderline ruined the game mode back then, but have things actually got any better? Well, that's what we're going to try and find out today. You might not even realise how important this part of career mode is. If a single club can sign every good player, it's going to make the Champions League really easy, it'll make players develop slower, and it can seriously ruin your entire save. I mean, just look at this team that This Is Kiki posted on Reddit. Kane at Spurs makes sense because this was FIFA 23, but how have they signed Virgil van Dijk, Bernardo Silva and Mohamed Salah in the first transfer window? If you'd prefer an FC24 example, how about this Real Sociedad team from Season 3 of my Stad Duran career? Nuno Tavares is fair enough, but Tarkowski, Ake, Dewsbury Hall and Cash all heading to North Spain is a little bit far-fetched. Don't even get me started on new signing Tarkowski taking the captaincy off Oyarzabal, who's played for Sociedad for over 10 years at this point of the save. I think it's pretty obvious that the AI can do strange things in manager mode, but it's even worse in player career mode. I actually had to stop playing my save in season 1 because the manager bought some good players, immediately sold them in the next transfer window, and then replaced them with even worse players. This meant that my team's starting 11 was mostly around 68 to 72 rated. You might think that this isn't that bad of a team, but I was playing as Nottingham Forest, and our team actually qualified for the Champions League and was playing in the Premier League. The AI in FIFA can be confusing at the best of times, but if we want to try and figure out some ways to fix this, then the best way is to try and figure out how the AI works. We can do this by having a look around some saves a bit further in. This save is from 5 years into career mode, and I'm using a mod that lets me see the overall ratings of every player. Let's have a look and see what some of the biggest teams in the game have done so far. Okay, let's start by having a look at probably the most famous team in the world for making big signings. Of course, that is going to be Paris Saint-Germain. Well, their team up front does look pretty much the same as it is by default. Senzio, Mbappe and Lee Kang-in. In midfield, they've signed Hoiberg and Rice, which seems a little bit pointless when they're also playing Carlos Soler. But they've got a couple of decent players on the bench here. Florentino Luiz, they've got Zambo Anguissa, Zach Emery. So it's more of a suggestion that they're probably not so good at picking the right players rather than signing the right ones. The defense is actually really good now. Miranda, Pavard, Bremer and Alexander-Arnold. And they've also got players that aren't included like Le Normand right here because he's on international duty. But the rest of the squad's all right. The only questionable signing right here is probably Wijnaldum, but he might have been better when they signed him. Okay, so let's move out of PSG and go have a look at another team that seems to sign a lot of players. We're going to be looking at FC Barcelona next. Let's see how the AI did at rebuilding this club. And already we can see there is a lot of change right here. They've re-signed Frank Kessier. They've got Casemiro in midfield from Manchester United and he really does not look good enough for Barcelona. They've got Lissandro Martinez also from Manchester United, Garcia and Araujo. They're playing their 91 rated centre-back out of position because they literally don't have any other options. They do have some pretty nice suggestions down here on the bench though. I mean, Tonali's an 89 rated, so we could put him in right here. Then you've got a 92 Pedri, an 84 Kessier, who you probably play Reina or even Lewis Miley. That's a very interesting signing right there. Harvey Elliott, also another one that could play there. And you could put Kudus on the wing. And then they've got a very strong looking team. If we just have a look at the ratings right here, because it's the easiest way to show them. That's a nice Barcelona team. They've made some good signings and it makes sense. If we look at their squad on this view, it also seems to be quite balanced. And I can't say this is the same for every single team. And the next one we look at is one of the least balanced sides I have ever seen. The team is, of course, Atletico Madrid. They have three strikers who are all pretty good, Nunez, Martin and Ferreira. They have a ton of midfielders. They've signed Verratti and Tielemans, Lorenzo Pellegrini. But when we get on to defenders, you'll see they have no right backs. I suppose Cancelo can play there. One left back, one right back, four centre backs and two goalkeepers. It's the least balanced side that I think I've ever seen. They have a single winger in the entire team and that's a 60 rated Vitolo. Their defenders, they've got one injury and they're pretty much screwed. So they could definitely use some better AI when it comes to squad planning because you're not really gonna want Soyonchu or Mourinho right here actually playing. It's gonna be Sotalo and Torres playing 90% of their games. The one time I think the AI has done a very good job is on Manchester City. This team is absolutely unreal. They've got like an 89 rated player in almost every single position. Even their younger players like Arda Gula right here. He's an 86, still going to improve. Phil Foden, a 90. Haaland, 94. They've made some really nice signings, including two new centre-backs in Militao and Bastoni. However, 
The same can't be said about City rivals Manchester United. They again have made some interesting signings. They've kept the same front three as before, including getting Anthony up to an 87, which is pretty amazing work. But playing Guimaraes as the furthest forwards with Nunez behind him and McTominay, that's just not a great midfield. You've got Balde, who's really highly rated, Koundé, who's really highly rated, but then you might have noticed Virgil van Dijk is now the Manchester United captain, and he's alongside Maguire. I mean, they've got a combined 52 sprint speed between them, and Van Dijk is now a 36 year old while Maguire is 35. I have no idea why they're playing these two ahead of Mark Gahey, but he hasn't played a single minute since they signed him a couple of years ago. Outside of their starting 11, which is what it seems like the AI likes to do, they have basically no depth at all. They've got players like Colombo right here, who's decent I guess, and Porro who can play right back but there's really not that much else. They've got Bruno Fernandez's regen, and it seems like the regen system does do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to squad building, because they also have the Luka Modric regen right here. So while it is good that there's some big moves happening in career mode, I'd say the teams are still a little bit weird. I think it would be really good if clubs could have specific signing targets. I suppose this would be a little bit like the objective system is for players. The AI manager at Madrid should always try and find the three best players in the world and sign them. The Wolves manager should always try and find Portuguese players and sign them. I think it would be a fairly simple thing to do, but let's have a look at the Wolves and Madrid squad and compare it to the squads that they have on day one. I guess we should start by looking at that wolf side and the first thing you'll notice is they've already been relegated. AI really not doing a great job but they've kept an amazing team in the championship which includes Dawson right here who now has 10 pace including just one sprint speed so no wonder they got relegated because sprint speed does matter quite a lot when it comes to the simulation settings. So up front Kyle George this is just a decent team they have signed quite a lot of Brazilians and Spaniards which is pretty interesting to see. This guy here is an Argentinian, Kilman, Galan, a lot of South Americans but they haven't really got any of those Portuguese players that they're famous from signing. So we'll head over to Spain and see if Real Madrid's team is anywhere near as good as Barcelona's was. So Real Madrid now play this weird formation and they've got Kai Havertz playing centre mid alongside Valverde, Guardiol as a central defensive midfielder, they have a right back playing left back and then they have a right mid playing at right back. They're still playing Lunin in goal but I think this guy is probably the Courtois regen and yet again their best player is a regen. This is all of the squad that they have, it doesn't go any lower than this. So outside of their absolutely amazing starting 11, the AI has actually done a really bad job of signing new players. Vardio could play left centre back right there I guess and if we put in the DM, again there's just straight up no options. The AI has just replaced people like Chuameni, Kamavinga with absolutely no one and that's just a real shame. So let's finish off this video with trying to find some fixes. Sure these things aren't perfect to the minute but it's definitely improved since some of the earlier FIFAs. The community does have a couple of ways to fix the issues that I mentioned today but they can be a little bit annoying to do. If you want to stop certain players moving clubs for the first few years, what you can do is go into customize squads before you start your career, and if you transfer a player to another team and immediately back to their original team, they will actually just appear as signed new contracts, and this means they won't move for the first two transfer windows. Two transfer windows means it's only going to be valid for a year, but it can help you if you're bored of seeing players from Saudi Arabia move back to Europe after six months, and it can also prevent people who are basically going to end their careers as one club men from leaving teams as well. If you're not quite sure what I mean, well we can move someone like Koke from Atletico Madrid to someone like Granada, move them straight back to Atletico Madrid, and this means that he won't end his 16 year career by joining someone like Leipzig in the first year's summer. I think players like Pedri and Gavi might be ideal to do this with, because if you don't do this, then teams like West Ham or Augsburg will end up signing some of the best players in the world, and this just not really going to be that realistic. You can also stop weird transfers happening mid-career if you notice them happening early enough. If you agree a fee to sign a player, most of the time the AI will either pull out of the deal if they've already bid, or will have a higher rated AI team bid for the same player. I've seen people like Ossimhen go to Flamingo in Season 1 on Reddit, but by bidding, you can force the game to either stop the deal or force someone like Barcelona to come in and join the chase for a player that they would really be interested in in real life. While transfers are always going to be a big part of football, it's a bit of a shame that EA hasn't put a bit more effort into making sure they're realistic, 
or at least make sense. Sure, I can see things like Trent Alexander-Arnold eventually leaving Liverpool, but it doesn't make sense when he ends up at somewhere like Atletico Madrid, who play a totally different kind of football. I guess if managers moved around, it could help justify some of these deals too, but I just think it needs a little bit more work. If you've got any tips to help keep AI transfers a little bit better beyond the two that I've just mentioned, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do consider liking and subscribing. But thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Check out the playlist in the video on screen right now and goodbye.